Good morning. Day two of winter storm in Texas. Today it's sunshiny, which is good, but it's not supposed to last. We're supposed to get freezing rain again tonight. And right now, let me show you what temperature our house is because there's no electricity. 47 degrees. This is what we have the heater set on. Of course, it's not on because no electricity. Yeah, 47 degrees, which is why we are dressed warmly. Uh, we're about to turn our fireplace on to warm it back up. We turned it off last night and moved to the bedroom because Jeff woke up in the middle of the night and he was a little concerned about carbon monoxide poisoning. And we read something about it and we're like, let's not take a chance by like sleeping right in front of it. So we went to our bedroom and it was actually really warm. Like, I don't know about you, Jeff, but I stayed warm last night. Were you good? Yeah. Yeah. So it was warm in our bedroom. We shut the door so that like our body heat and everything kept it in lit a few of our electric candles with batteries so we had some light puppies are doing okay they went out and pottied in it this morning but they didn't like it <laughs> they didn't like it we still have some snow um i'm going to be doing some random filming today because we're trying to conserve our batteries and i'm just keeping you guys up to date on what's going on with us a uh, couple things interesting there's ice on the window this morning because it was nine degrees last night while we were asleep like nine yeah. Wind chill of a negative. Outside, it was way, way well below zero. Yeah, it was below. Oh, my little kale plants doing okay. So I brought this guy in a couple days ago because I was worried about him freezing and he's brand new. So yeah, ice on the windows, snow still all over the ground. So now we're having to empty the fridge because it's it's been over 12 hours and everything's still cold, but it's starting to warm up. So right now Jeff is boiling some water because we got a notice this morning. What did it say about our water? It's not safe to drink. Or to use to brush your teeth. Or to bathe or anything else. I can actually read you a thing. Our window charger's going over here. Because these are both wind, um, solar powered. The Texas Commission's on Environmental Quality is requiring residents to boil their water prior to consumption, such as washing hands, face, brushing teeth, and drinking. Those with weakened immune systems like children and seniors are vulnerable to harmful bacteria and TCEQ is asking residents to follow directions to help destroy the harmful bacteria and other microbes. Jeez. So here's all of our food outside in the coolers. Frozen stuff, regular stuff that we have to get to all the time. I'm going to put our orange juice out here, which is probably going to freeze. We'll see. Look at, look at the ice. Ice solid see that that is ice everywhere and this where it melted yesterday this is slippery ice so this is super slippery you can hear it crunching look at this this is about an inch and a half of ice at least slippery, slippery. you want to go ice skating right here babe you can completely solid Totally frozen, Cora. Isn't that cold on your feet? Still snow everywhere. I'm so glad we covered our plants because insane. Look at the icicles are really big this morning because it started melting last night. Whoa, the icicle just fell. Did you hear it? <laughs> you hear people's tires? They're spinning. I think people are trying to see if the roads are okay and they're just not. They're not, because the, the snow and sleet and stuff melted and then it froze over again last night. We're definitely having a Sutton adventure today. Just boiling water, he's making coffee. Thank goodness we have a French press. I've never done this before. <laughs> You're gonna want more in there too. That's gonna be so strong. I want it to be. Okay. Yeah, I like strong coffee. It's gonna be real strong. Can you lock in the heat? Yeah, so this side, where that groove is, yep. goes there. And just leave it like that Let's for a while. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Oh, I got my tea steeping. So from now on, we're going to do what I would call, and I've studied this quite a lot back in the day, baby wipe baths. Yeah. They're very fun. We've done that when we um, when we camp, too. They really, it's, it's really it works. Like that. It, it does work. Huh. The only problem is we don't have a warmer, so it's going to be... Oh, that's okay. I don't know what this is, guys. You see the reflection, this little green reflection from the light? We're having trouble with that with our new phones. And we're not sure I why. I think it was like that with the old one. We just didn't notice really? it. Really? No, I would have noticed it, I think, because it's it's very prominent. 
Like anything with a little too much light reflects it. It's very annoying. A hot coffee. Yeah. <laughs> He's a happy man. Right, I'll have tea. I'm gonna let that sit okay. for a minute. Gentlemen, two things you need to have in a winter apocalypse. <laughs> this is an Israeli Shemag. You can get them on Amazon. They go on your neck like so. Oops. Stylish. It's oh, there we go. And it's oh. warm. Yes. You look very handsome. And it has many uses. Also, buy a headlamp. You won't believe how many times you use this. I'm not even camping. Well, it's winter apocalypse right now. But no, camping I, I in our house. Yeah, camping in our house. Buy external charger. Low power modes on your phones. There are Put all our food outside. All of our food outside. Got the fireplace going to create heat. Cora, what is the problem? What you want? She's doing her meerkat what thing. Do? Go hit her. No, not me. Don't get me. Oh, boy. The problem with that little... A little blue ball that she always puts underneath the couch there. So I know, it's I still too small. It. John. It's too bad we didn't have that, that mm. blue ball, the really big one. That she eventually popped? No, she didn't pop it. I threw it away. Oh, she did pop she it. Popped she popped it. Johnny. <laughs> no, sure. Good girl, get him. Get that boy. There you go. All right, all right. Get her. <laughs> yeah, you can't play your electric keyboard, but you can play the piano. Get her, Johnny. Get her, Johnny. Our task for this afternoon, that closet, was insufferable. So, that's all organized now, and we gotta figure out what to do with all this. So many coats. I think we can probably get rid of a few things. We'll... We'll see. We, we have to purge a few things. We've got to. Okay, again. Well, it looks like. Call Rachel and see if she needs anything since we're going out. Oh, yeah, we will. We have a new mommy next door. They just had a. They just had a baby. Well, they already have a little girl, but they just had a little boy literally like four or five days ago. We are attempting to get out and go get some stuff. Jeff's having to manually. Dude, <laughs> Everything's melting, so it looks like we're clear enough to, and it's starting to drought, that we can go grab a few things. Nice. We'll see how this goes. Here, our snowmen are still intact. They don't look like they've melted much at all. Yay, mm. still people. The thing is, watching your turns, acceleration on turns, that's where you get stuck. I'm gonna put on my sunglasses. I'm gonna go snow blind. This is so bright, don't we? Oh my gosh, y'all. People right, are in line. Try to get inside. They're, they're letting people in a bit at a time. This is insane. It's because I think it's because people weren't prepared. And the only reason we're here is to get some extra ice. Oh man, icicles all over everybody's car. This is definitely weird. Look at their icicles. They like fell off and impaled the ground. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see it. That's that's not good. That's what we're dealing with right now. Um, people are resupplying because we didn't expect to be out of power for this long. We kind of expected some rolling brownouts for an hour or two, maybe you know half a day or something. But this is going on 24 hours for us, and all of our friends who have said, "Oh yeah, we have power, we have power," eventually texted us back and said. Or, or power's out. So it, it's happening all over. Ugh. The roads are semi-clear enough for people to be driving about 30 to 40 miles an hour, but other than that, uh-oh, Jeff's coming back. That's not a good sign. That's why it's good that your husband's so social. Uh, let's go to CVS. Someone I said, can't say I'm surprised, and we started laughing. She said, my friends have, are in there right now. They've been here for about an hour and a half. We just need ice. And she said, go to CVS. All right, so we're going to CVS. Well, we made it. It was a little icy in a few places, but only little tiny patches, and we yeah, went that's slow. Not that. it's not like it was. Uh, but HEB was insane. Like a line, an hour long line. Yeah, an hour. Yeah. So, um, because so of COVID, they can only let certain, not certain people. amount of people in, right? So, Jeff and I went across to CVS. 
and Jeff ran in while I kept the car warm and charged up my phone some more. And we got some ice. I know it sounds dumb, but we had to get ice for our stuff outside just in case it gets too much warmer. I need to go up there. Jeff's gonna go check. Listen to this. We can hear. Do you hear how loud this is? It sounds like it's in the walls. I can feel it in the walls. <gasps> Jeff? What? There's water. Where? Right here. No, oh my it's God, what's happening? It's a burst pipe. That is bad. That is real bad. <clears throat> Jeff, what Hi, this is Jeff Sutton. Uh, our, a pipe just burst in our walls and there's water everywhere oh in the house right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's everywhere. It's making the ceilings. This is so bad. Yeah. Oh. Oh my gosh. We did. They took it to submit a report. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh. oh, no. Where's the shut off valve? Situation. The roof caved in on top of me. It's all in my hair. Um, it stopped. I think the water's stopping, but it set off the alarms. And I can't turn those off. Oh my gosh. So the roof caved in in one of our bedrooms. How bad. It's terrible. Go look. I'm scared too. That's why we weren't supposed to leave, Dan. Oh my god. Cora, Johnny, Cora, Cora, oh. Johnny, come here. Johnny, Johnny, get out, Cora. Go! Come on and get out. This is our life right now. <laughs> this is really bad. This is really bad. This is our living room right now. The room on the other side of this wall is where the pipes burst. This is part of the ceiling. There's still water. We moved everything that we could, unplugged things because we didn't want electricity to come back on all of a sudden. We also turned off all the electricity outside so that it, they can't turn on. This is what we're dealing with right now. This is the room Jessica was in. Water all the way to there. The empty room. This is what is going on in the room that caved in and it was coming out of that coming out of the light it's still dripping off the lights and the fan oh my gosh y'all so this is huh, this is the room this is the one that had the issues um that tile that's what hit me that hit me in the head i knew it was something harder than this because my headache is no joke right now. I think my finger's okay. It lumped up. I thought I'd broken it at first, but it it hurts to me, but it's okay. Uh, I put the bucket in here trying to save the room. It didn't work. Oh no, Yoda. I gotta save my baby Yoda. I gotta get over there. And it flooded so far over that um, it went through the wall to the living room. It's horrifying. Oh my gosh. I'm coming, little guy. Uh oh. This is the roof. This is where it caved in. So you guys know what happened. We wrapped our pipes. Yep. We did everything right. This whole time. We walked time. back here and I heard a sound of rushing water. I went to go make sure my wife wasn't in the shower. Was the toilet run running funny? And then I, when I went to go outside to check the water box, which I didn't find until later, 
the ceiling because it's covered by grass the ceiling collapsed and hit my wife in the head and i finally was able to go out there 10 minutes later and shut off the water with the neighbor's help uh but we did everything right and one and that's our day today <laughs> oh my God. that's us yep. off position that's yep. our neighbors yep okay come over here i was buried in the grass I'll show you guys our pipes that have been wrapped this whole time nice and dry nice and dry that's one heck of an icicle man yeah. we don't know when our power is going to come back on as soon as we found out what happened we came out here and turned all of Everything in the off position, so when the power does come on, we don't have to worry about an electrical fire. Yeah, we don't want that. All right, let's go to the other side of the house. These have been wrapped for some time now. Yep. They're wet, obviously, but... Uh, yep. Well, this part's dry. Yeah. Yeah, so we wrapped, wrapped these, double check these. I turned this valve off because I thought this was the valve that you're supposed to turn off. Um, so... Somebody may have to fix that. I don't know. Or turn that on. I was trying to stop the water. Water company may have to deal with that. Oh, the insanity. So much for a quiet afternoon. So the water started coming out of this side of the wall. So the water flooding in the other adjacent guest room was coming into here. Once the water was shut off, we got as much of it mopped up as we could. Unplugged all electrical. And moved everything we can everything move. Over. So we have and you'll see that our other hose over here that is also wrapped and also dry. Yep. It's slightly damp at the top, but only damp. Like this is dry okay. too. Yeah. Again, it's we're just doing this to show you we we really prepared for this and still my, my wife could have been seriously wounded. I'm glad she's not. I'm glad too, because those tiles hit me in the head. That was not cool. I'm okay. I'm okay. And we are all packed up. Car's loaded. Tessa's driving. Roads are going to be icy again tonight, big time. Packed up going to Tess and Ryan's till further notice. We don't know what's going to happen with the house. Um, how soon it's going to happen. We turned on the warm air and doing all we can a step at a time all right we made it to Tess and Ryan's look at their cute little snowman and thanks for making yellow snow Johnny slide and we made it to Tess and Ryan's and now we gotta unpack we'll get back to you I was thinking watching that movie I wonder if something like this actually happened <laughs> how are you though you gotta be kidding me Jeff and I are headed back to the house right now because there's supposed to be a plumber coming to assess the situation and the damage. There's some people out, but it is definitely still a little bit treacherous roads right now. It's 32 degrees. You got another right away rules out mm -hmm. here too. And there, there are a lot of lights are out and it's still sleeting a little bit and it's supposed to snow again in, what did it say, like three or four hours from now, it's gonna snow again. So, <laughs> yay. But we're gonna go check on the house situation and see what's happening. So this is the next day, of course. And uh, we'll keep you guys informed of the situation. We'll probably make another video on that. But for now, that's what's going on. We'll catch you up. Thanks for the prayers and the thoughts. Hope you guys are doing okay too.